What's up guys, Doom Wake here and welcome to another video on the channel. We're going to be playing some Modern today and in today's video we are going to be playing some Saheeli combo. If you're familiar with the Splinter Twin combo, that's something that has been banned in Modern for quite some time. It is similar to Splinter Twin, not quite the same thing, but there obviously you can draw some comparisons there. It's essentially A plus B to make infinite creatures and kill your opponent. Now, obviously, because Felidar Guardian and Sahili Ray are both sorcery speed, I mean, Splinter Twin was as well, but you got to play some kind of sort of the uh, the control game with Deceiver slash Pestermite, but we can't quite do that here. So we're playing a lot more high impact tap out threats in addition to the elemental package. So we'll go over the deck real quick here. So Fel for Felidar Guardian, for Saheeli Ray, pretty obvious. If you assemble Felidar Guardian plus Saheeli, you get to make infinite copies of Felidar Guardian because you make a copy of Felidar, blink out the Saheeli, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, they all have haste, attack your opponent. That's, that's the combo. So we are pairing that again with um, Teferi Time Reveler, very powerful, protects your combo, and you know if you get to curve Teferi into the combo, if you have Teferi in play, your opponent can't respond, so there's nothing they can do to break up your combo at instant speed. Really important. We're also playing with Fury and Solitude because very powerful cards. As you can see, the curve in this deck is a little bit higher, so Fury and Solitude kind of mitigate that to an extent because they are expensive cards, but they're also cards you can play for free up the curve. So if, you, if you're ever in a spot where you have a turn where you don't have a good play, um, Fury and Solitude can kind of fill that gap a little bit. And Solitude, because we're playing with Kahira in the sideboard, is more of a free roll because we can just pick up our companion and then pitch it. So we have those, and then our sort of card advantage spells here, we have four copies of Expressive Iteration, Kind of awkward in this deck because there is a lot of threes and four Felidar Guardians, so there's not as many cheap cards as you would normally see in most expressive iteration decks, but, th but that's because we're also playing with Chalice of the Void, so we can't overload on things like Opt, Consider, Serum Visions, um, and then the aforementioned Chalice of the Void. We kind of have like a prison package here with three Blood Moon, three Chalice. Big fan of Blood Moon in the format right now. There's a lot of Amulet, a lot of Tron. It's really good against Shadow. It can be good against Four Color, but you got to be careful because they got a lot of basics. Chalice I'm not as big of a fan of because there has been a pretty big decline in Shadow and Hammer Time has almost fallen off the face of the earth. So Chalice is uh, something you could consider cutting. The I copied this deck list from a 5-0 League in Magic Online and they had Chalice in the main deck, so I wanted to give it a shot, but not the biggest fan of Chalice. And I think that could be something else moving forward, potentially more threats. Uh, like something like Ragavan, especially if you're going to cut Chalice. Prismatic Ending, probably the best removal spell in the format, not much to say there. And then three copies of Ephemerate. We're not playing the full four copies because we do have Chalice, and frequently we will want a Chalice on one, which does turn off Ephemerate, so you got to be careful of that. But Ephemerate, just really powerful with the elementals, and you can even save a Felidar Guardian from a removal spell, so keep that in mind as well. And the cool thing about uh, one of the questions I was asked on my stream when I was playing this deck is why would we play this over four color? Because four color gives you, you know, Omnath and Abundant Growth and all this stuff. The mana base. So obviously we're, we're just three colors, which means we get to play a little bit more basics. So we get to actually support Blood Moon. And you get to play um, value lands like uh, Castle Vantress, Odawara. And where's the other one? Aganjo. Aganjo didn't come up as much, but Odawara, both Odawara and Castle were both incredible for me. Um, obviously, with Odawara, Aganjo, with Blood Moon, those don't really matter because you're you're playing them, and y you get what I mean. But the one Castle Vantress, I actually it came up quite a bit, which I was pretty impressed with. Um, and you could even justify playing more utility lands if you're with with this particular deck list. So something to keep in mind. And then just a smooth mana base, bunch of fetches, bunch of shock lands, all that good stuff there. Uh, moving on to the sideboard, we do have our Kahira here. Um, if you're asking why we can play Kahira, because Kahira counts cats, and Felidar Guardian is a cat, so it's not just elementals. Um, and that's pretty cool that we get to play a companion with all of our uh, pitch cards. Two Weird Terrors for the Urza Saga decks, two Explosives for mostly Shadow, Hammer Time, that kind of stuff. Veto for Control, Fluster Storm Dispute as well for Control, also Fluster Storm good against Cascade. Rest in Peace for Living in and Graveyard decks, and Sunset Revelry for Burn. So that is the uh, deck list here, and I am super excited to get into some games, so I won't make you wait any longer. I'll see you back here in just a minute for round number one. We are here for round number one, Just Sky Sahili. I got Teferi's for days. This hand seems fine. It's a four lander, but it's kind of like a three lander, because this is a spell. I wish that Odawara would... Um, I wish these lands reduced for Planeswalkers. Maybe that would be too good, though. Would these lands be too good, chat, if they reduced cost by uh, planeswalkers and creatures? 
Does this opponent live up to their name, turn one vile? No, because they're not playing Yorion. If they if they reveal the Orion, yeah, they they would certainly have a turn one vial, but <clears throat> that's not good. That's not good. Hmm. Also not good. Well, chat, this is gonna be a rough one. I mean, if they don't have Dryad, I can bounce Saga, which buys me a good amount of time, but it's going to be tough if they play Dryad here. Yeah, Ren reducing Besiju, that would be insane. Okay, no Dryad, which is better for me, I guess. Because I get to at least bounce the, the Saga. Well, I guess I should say I get to bounce Saga and they don't get to kill the Teferi. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Uh... Oh. Well, I kind of got punished for not fetching a basic, but, you know. I can't complain, right? I'm not allowed to complain. So, didn't play a basic, but. Uh, I guess I'm gonna pick up Gahira. Try to just kill them with Fury. God, if this was a Plains, it would be so much better for me. Yeah, the old triple stone raid against three sagas. Is that the best Blood Moon you've ever seen cast? It's gotta be up there, right? Somebody clip that for me. That that is pretty clip worthy, I think. Well, I can't cast any spells. So uh your turn. <clears throat> Spike hit two sagas with a turn two moon. That's pretty good. Besiju, god, map tutoring for Besiju is so insane. It's actually kind of gross how good it is. Alright, we're still probably going to lose. Would I have won this game if I fetched the planes? Eh, it's a different game. I would have had Teferi in play, maybe drawn a card or two, but... I mean, that's one of my better draws... Bolt Snap Bolt with some Fat Clouds. Discard a Teferi. Mm. Not in love with our spot here. Okay. We can solitude that, which is good. Then we can... Uh, they, they do have a pack to pay for, too, so... can, like, Fury kill this, maybe try to pressure them a little bit. Because I don't think they can Dryad plus... Yeah, they don't have enough mana to... If they pay for pack, they don't have enough for... Dryad plus, like, Retitan. Could just draw another Blood Moon. Oh, they actually die if I draw another Blood Moon. Because they didn't get a basic. Uh, that's too good to pass up, right? I guess I would have to hit Red Source and Blood Moon. Hmm... It's pretty worth it still. Like, I know I'm not playing Fury this turn. Oh, I can't play Fury anyways. Yeah, so I'm just gonna Iteration. Yeah, I can't play Fury anyways. God! Uh, I guess I should have got a Red Source off of the Iteration, or off of the Besiju. Damn it. All right, um... Well, actually, I can just play Felidar and put Sahili in hand, right? Yeah. So I just go hand, bottom, exile, play Felidar Guardian. 
And they have to pay for Pact, so I don't think they can kill me. And I don't... I mean, unless they just Natty have Dryad. Soltec first. If I had another Solitude in my hand, I would feel invincible, but... So, blink this. Kill that. Your turn. So they have to go pay for Pacts. I mean, I guess if they have an untapped blue source, they can go transmute. One, two, three, four. Ah, I just natty had the dryad. Okay, that's bad. F. Because now they're going to play a second land and kill the Felidar. Yeah, that's bad. I mean, now they have Titan in hand. I mean, at least we get to kill the dryad, which is good. We also just kill them if we draw another Felidar. Why play Felidar this turn? That's a good question. I should I should have just not played the Felidar, because I could have just killed the next turn. Yeah, that was dumb. Yeah, you're right. I could have just played the Felidar this turn. I don't know why I did that. That was stupid. So now I can go. Hmm. I mean, Ephemerate's a good draw. I could Fury... No, if I Fury Ephemerate, then I just kind of get boned by the Titan. So I guess I could just go Prismatic Ending, the Dryad, Attack for 3, Pass with Ephemerate up. Or I could actually... Oh, actually. What if I go Saheeli, Copy the Solitude, Kill the Dryad, Attack for 6, and then hold up Ephemerate? I kind of like that line. I think I like that line. So let's go Red, Blue... Yeah, I think I like that line. Because that gets the Saheeli in play. Attack for six, pass. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I mean, it's awkward because I think they can put a Titan and a Dryad into play. The good thing is they can't haste the Titan. So I don't actually have to, to Solitude the Titan. So if they go, if basically, if they go Titan Dryad play a land, target the Solitude, then I can just kill the Dryad. Wait, they're not casting Titan? Oh no, I exiled their Titan. They don't necessarily... They're less, oh, their last card's Teleria West. I don't know why I thought their last card was Titan. I'm stupid. For some reason, I thought I bounced the Titan, but I exiled it. Duh. What am I doing? Uh, I don't really need that. I think I'm just going to bottom that. Play... Kahira. Actually, I'm just gonna go Tef. I'm gonna go Tef, bounce the Saga. Just to kind of time walk them a little bit. And then we know their hand is Saga Teleria West. I'm still gonna hold up the Ephemerate. I don't know why I thought their last card was Titan. Obviously. <clears throat> Alright, well, <laughs> they, they probably couldn't win that game anyways. Alright, so that was easy. Mm, wear tear is good. Engineered explosives is like okay against Saga, but not great against the Dryad Titan aspect of their deck. So I don't know if I want engineered explosives. Mm, the rest of these cards seem pretty bad. Chalice? Is Chalice good against them? Obviously you can Chalice Zero for Pact. But I think it's my weakest card. What's worse, Chalice or Teferi against them? Because I think that's one of that those are one of the cards that I'm cutting. Yeah, maybe I want to cut all the Tefs, keep in the Chalices, and bring in explosives. And then I can Chalice Zero against Pact. Teferi's not that good, right? I mean, Chalice does stop Pact, which is like a pretty big angle of their deck because it also essentially shuts off Teleria West, which in turn also shuts off Primeval Titan for Teleria West. Like, Chalice on Zero is really big against them. You know? It just shuts off like a huge angle of their deck. I think I'm going to bring in Explosives. Yeah, Teferi's just not that good. I think this makes sense.
Yeah, but like we have wear tear, we have blood moon. We even have like we can preemptively explosives on one. Sand's pretty good. Doesn't have blood moon, but it has good interaction. Even like this is fine. Iteration, not gonna not gonna mull this. Tef can ten pop a Titan. Yeah, I can bounce the Titan to their hand like I thought I did that game. March of Otherworldly Light. You mean why no March of Otherworldly Light? Oh. Could draw. Let's play this one. Good draw is good. What would you play March over? Like, I don't think I would cut Prismatic Ending for it. And I, th I still think Wear Tear is better, because the games where you get to fuse Wear Tear are such higher upside, you know? Alright, um... The question is, do I play the Explosives? I think I don't. I'm gonna play Flooded Strain in case I want to cast the Wear half of Wear Terror. Like if they go Amulet Bass or something, I might want to end of turn Wear. Hmm, that's not a Dryad. All right, Blood Moon, please. Blood Moon, please. Any Blood Moons? I'm gonna get Basic Island, I think. Because if I draw Blood Moon, which is best case scenario, I want to be able to have Island as a backup for iteration. So I'm just going to get an Island now. Alright, Blood Moon, Blood Moon, Blood Moon, Blood Moon, Blood Moon, Blood Moon! Damn it. That was the punishment for, um, for not getting a red source, is I can't play iteration without playing my land, but I think I'm just going to play Saheeli anyways. Question is, am I killing the Azusa? Um... Feels kind of bad, but I think I am. I don't love it, but... Alzik, thank you for the 11 months. It's funny you mentioned that, Gareth the Square. I actually was looking at what I was missing for this deck, and I, I'm exactly in the same spot. I have everything for this deck except Chalice. Yeah, you could also just cut Chalice for Ragavan. I actually own Ragavan, so I could play this deck if we cut Chalice for Ragavan. That's a lot of expressive iterations. Hmm. Little late to the party, huh? <clears throat> Little late to the party. Bottom. Go. Oh. Was hoping it saw a two white card there, but yeah, Ragavan. You have a lot of powerful three drops with Ragavan, so I can see it. Uh, that gets Dryad, and we are dead. All right, game three. Blood Moon was a little late to the party. All right, I'm on the play. Mm, no lands, huh? Cool. Okay. Uh, put back Felidar. And hope that Blood Moon's good enough. I mean, they have Besaidu. I don't know if it was like their draw just couldn't afford to play around it, but I don't think they could have beat Blood Moon last game. I guess they just didn't have an opportunity to get a basic. Yeah, you lose here with Ragavan. I mean, to be fair, that probably doesn't matter that much. Like, it feels like a lot of the matchups where Ragavan is good is just the unfair matchups, right? So at that point, are you really are you really losing that much by losing Gahir against the unfair matchups? Probably not. What's up, Bimp? Evening, evening. You guys are doing well today? Not gonna fetch because I need to draw land three. Uh, really need to draw land three, please. Please let me draw land three. Preach. 
Okay. God, they even played the Basaju. Oh my god, just give me a land. Well, I guess they can just go up bounce land and pick it up. I need a land, chat. I need a land. Will I draw a land? What do you think? I actually built that Asma Hall by deck and paper. I just got the last of the cards in, in the mail. I'm going to play it at FNM. Feels good, man. I haven't got the chance to look at the, dis the Discord today. Land. Yes. Planes. Red source. Might as well just play this on zero two. For uh for pact. Just in case they go like forest pact dryad or some shit. I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Mathia. Map. We can get a forest. Um, should I EE on three for draw? No, that blood moon. Just kidding. Uh, I guess that's our play. Your turn. Was there a way of getting rid of moon? They have besiege you, so they could just like if they have besiege you in their hand, they could just have a basic forest. But now that we have the moon in play, their bounce lands can't pick this up, so they just have to have another besiege you in a forest. Do they play two Besaju? I think they do. I think, I want to say that Mistaken and Friend are playing like two or three. I feel like two is a minimum. Hmm. I don't want to run up the Felidar in case I just peel Sahili. I'm not getting any value out of it, but... I'm not even sure why I'm killing this amulet, because amulet doesn't do anything with Bloodmune to play anyways, but... Yeah, they usually have like three or four after their, after sideboarding in the 75 total. Dryad. Alright, give me a land. Easy. Easy clap. Plunk. Plunk for one. That's right, take one. Would Titan itself ever get banned? No. I don't think so. I don't think Primeval Titan will ever get banned. I don't really think there's a reason for it to get banned either, you know? Oh, they chalice check me. Chalice check. Yeah, Valakut, Amulet, something like that. But they would, they would never ban Titan. I don't even think they would ban Saga. I think Saga's too new. Oh, well. I was going to push damage with explosives, but... All right. Round one, easy clap. Let's go. All right, round two. Jessica Sahili. Fury Sahili ending. Yeah, this hand's fine. Well, you know, it's a warning. You know, they've done it they've done it a couple times, I haven't said anything, so now it's a warning. And now if he does it again, then we can proceed with further, but I don't you know, I'm not just gonna snap ban somebody when they type a link in chat. Like I'll at least give them a warning, give them you know what I mean? No, it's somebody else's Discord, it's not mine. If you want my Discord, you can do exclamation point Discord. Oh, Aether Vial. So, Blood Moon's probably not going to be great, so I'm just going to get a Triumph. And I have two more basics anyways if I draw Blood Moon. Okay, it's not a bad draw.
God, prismatic ending is just like it's kind of absurd. All all these people just trying to play like just trying to play their aether vials, and I'm over here with this prismatic ending. Is aether vial just unplayable now because of this card? I think it is, which is sad. It's really sad. It's really really sad. I don't even know what they take here. My hand's really good. Yeah, March too. March is another good one. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm still going to play Sahili first, but... I guess I should get a red source. Actually, yeah, I should I should have played this one last turn because I need to get a second red source to hardcast fury. So let's just get steam vents. I don't want to be down a second red source. I don't really want that. If you don't have anything, then they kind of pop. Yeah, but it's like a lot of times humans decks. Or like Aether Vile strategies will keep a hand based on the fact that like at least before Prismatic Ending, obviously they're building their decks differently now. But the way that these Vile decks used to be built is they were allowed to keep hands that like relied on Aether Vile, that like one land Vile pile of creatures, and those hands you just can't keep those anymore. You know, I mean you can, but you're going to get punished a lot of the time, and it's tough. So they're wow, they're not attacking Sahili? Oh. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> uh <laughs> never punished. Never punished. Didn't matter if they attack Sahili. This game's easy, huh? Is Splinter Twin back? That's gonna be the title of the YouTube video. Splinter Twin unbanned question mark question mark. I like Revelry is not too bad. This card's cracked. This counter spells suck. I could bring in Wear Tear for Vile, but I already have ending. I don't think I need to get that aggressive. I'm just gonna cut to Fairy again. Oh, actually, Chalice is horrendous against them. What am I doing? Yeah, Chalice is awful. Right, let's go. I could cut Blood Moon as well. Maybe I go, yeah, maybe I go two moon for Teferi. I'll trim a moon. I still don't mind having access to Blood Moon because we have ways to remove Vile. Like, normally Blood Moon is not good against Vile, but when you have ending, it does get a lot better. <clears throat> no, I just saw a league that, uh, a 5 0 list, and I, I just, I love the way this list looks, Brickman. It's just like all the good cards, you know. Elementals, the combo, expressive iteration, ephemerate, Teferi, ending, and then prison cards. I actually I like the prison cards a lot. I think Blood Moon is underrated. Especially when your opponent doesn't expect Blood Moon. Like if you're playing a deck that like doesn't you, you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm sure Fork of the Sahili is is good too. Like if you just wanted to play Money Pile with Sahili, sure, I guess you could do that, but The problem with that is, like, you want to main deck Blood Moon, but you don't want to main deck Magus. And I think taking up three sideboard slots just for big mana is not actually that good. Hmm, that sounds good. Need a red card, but Prismatic Ending plus Explosives plus stuff. Yeah, I saw somebody 5 0 with Glimpse of Healy. I almost played that instead, but. I was going to play Neoform today. I decided against that. Actually, wasn't Nub here? Nub, you still here? Nub, Neoform is good again. Did you know that? Hello, John? Any Johns in the chat? Hmm. 
awkward. I kind of don't even want to play the explosives. Because if I play the explosives, they're just not going to play a 2-drop. But I guess if I play the explosives on 2, and they play something like a general, then I could just go Fury Pitch Iteration, kill both your things, play Teferi, and the game's probably over. Yeah, I, this is kind of close. I think I want to use my mana here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play explosives. It's not the best play, but I'm the same person that accidentally downgraded your paper shardless agents. <laughs> Excuse me. If by downgrade you mean massive upgrade, yes. <laughs> All right, chat. <clears throat> we're gonna have a we're gonna have a talk here. We're gonna my opponent's gonna we're gonna go pause pause for a second. All right, I'm gonna show you two pictures. They didn't play anything. That was actually an insane draw because I'm just gonna guess that. <laughs> that buys me so much time. That was such a good draw step. Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> that was such a good draw step. All right, you ready, chat? Hold on. All right. Option number one. Looks fine, right? Not that bad. Looks okay. Option number one. It's hard to see with the blur, but option number one. Or option number two. I mean, come on. Like, what are we even talking about here? What what are, what are we even talking about here? I don't I don't understand what's the what's the conversation here. There's no conversation. 2-2 two, two split. I do have 4 of each. I could do that. <clears throat> I could definitely do that. Uh, what am I doing? I don't know, man. Does this thing do anything when it flips? I probably should just kill their board now. Alright, fine. I'll kill your board. I kind of want to reset my explosives. No attacks. I don't know if they have haste creatures. What's my favorite deck? Uh, Rhinos for sure. I, I love Rhinos. I'm resetting the explosives there, so, like, no matter what they play this turn as their follow-up, I can just, you know, I'm going to get a good explosives out of it. Whereas, like, if I leave it on two, they just play, like, two one-drops, and I can't, you know... I mean, obviously, I could just plus Teferi and then have... and then just bounce it next turn, but... That's bad if they have, like, Skyclay for Teferi, I want to get my card out of it, stuff like that. All right, um... What if I just go Felidar, Blink, Tef, Bounce, the Vial? Sure. Should buy Fetch first. Blink, Tef, Bounce, the Vial. I could just cycle this. <clears throat> Had the PTU end up yesterday? I went 2 2 drop. I beat blue white, then blue black control, and then I lost to. I, th I lost to blue white, right? Or did I lose to Winota? No, I think I lost to Winota. No, 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 I lost to blue white, and then I lost to. Uh, Mono green. Alright, I'm just gonna keep killing your stuff. I probably could have held this, but, like, come on. I'd be surprised if they still want to play after this. I'm actually not going to play either of my lands, either. They're both utility. I'd rather just hold them. Have I listened to Glow On by Turnstile? 
maybe? I've listened to a decent amount of Turnstile. I, I don't recognize the name of the song specifically, but I have listened to a good amount of Turnstile. Any wishes for OP announcement tomorrow? I haven't really thought about it that much, to be honest with you. Oh. I'll even attack first. I honestly, I haven't really thought about it. Like, I know that we're never going to get back to what we're used to, you know what I mean? We're never going to get back to where we were before, but... OP means organized play. So I don't know. Like, we're not going to go back to the old Pro Tours, yada yada. Oh, a Turok. But, yeah, I don't know. Oh, they can Violet in. Five head. Uh, Alright, well, I have to chump block Fury, so... Attack. Oh, I had lethal. Yeah, I'm an idiot, right? Oh, no, it's only five damage, right? Because this... Yeah, yeah it would have been five damage. Yeah, so I guess I can put them to five. Which... I'm actually not going to do, because, again, I just want to hold on to this. Oh, I could have ending the vial. I could have went ending vial, then bounce the Turok. That's what I could have done. That would have killed them. Yeah. Because I ending vial first, and they can't actually replay it. Yeah, that's what I should have done. 2 and 0. Easy clap. God, my hands look so good. Maybe this deck's just nuts. I'm actually not going to play planes in my first two turns because I might want to go iteration plus land on three, and I can't play iteration off of these two lands. So, one thing with Iteration is you don't want to play play. You want to avoid playing basic planes early if you can. So, I'm just going to lead, like, Steam Vents into maybe a Shockland. I guess I could get Triome. Maybe that's better. Let's get Triome here. Yeah, I like that. Pro to our kitchen table. Well, I mean, for you know what they could do? For Yu Gi Oh!, they do something with what's called Remote Duel. And they just, like, what they do is they send everybody who's participating in that tournament, they send you, like, a giant setup with, like, a camera and a, you know, an arm. And you're literally just, like, you're, at, when you're playing the tournament, you have a camera above your desk and you're just playing, you know what I mean? What if they did that? MTG Remote Duel. It's not really a good draw step. There is a lot of cheating, yes. There is a lot of cheating. You get a 3-2 with an accidental 110 card Yoran deck. How do you accidentally add 110 cards? Explain that. Like, you can't tell me that that's accidental. You can't, like, be adding cards and you're like, oh, I guess I'm at 110, you know? Like, that's not how that works, dude. Come on. Is it worth playing main moon and rhinos? I don't know. It depends on what you expect to play. If you expect a lot of big mana, I like it, but... All right, we lose. God, I, I kind of despise Living End. All right, you win. Rest in peace, you. Veto. Luster Storm. I don't know if I love Dispute. Prismatic Ending is bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Huh. I mean, everything else is pretty good. We have, a, we have a lot of cards for this matchup. Dude, I don't know what I'm supposed to cut. All my cards are just insane against them. Do I trim on Fury, I guess? I guess I trim a Fury. 
Or would I rather have Dispute or Fury? I almost would rather just have Dispute. I think Fury's I think Fury's kind of overrated against them. Yeah, Solitude's cracked because like if they have like a, a medium-sized living end, you can just go Solitude pitch a card, and then you get the Solitude back and kill one of their things and hopefully trade with the other one. So like Solitude can buy you a lot of time. Yeah, if Fury, if Fury had Flash, it would be a lot better, but the fact that it doesn't have Flash means that you have to preemptively put the Fury into the graveyard, likely, usually for no value, and they also can just play around it, because they know it's in your graveyard. So, it's just, it lines up really poorly. A lot of people really think that Fury's good against them, I, I really don't think so. Uh, I mean, I have to keep this. It's not the greatest hand, but I think I'm required to keep it. Kind of sucks that they have grief, but I feel like iteration isn't good in this deck with the high mana curve. Well, I mean, you don't count solitude and fury, right? Like those count it. Those are those are you can't count those. But I agree. Maybe there's too many like three drops. Is Brewing Four Color reasonable if you have a primary color or does Omnath X get away with it just because of the mechanics and travel cards? Mm, I mean, you could splash for Omnath in this deck. I don't think that's unreasonable. They didn't take Veto. Surprising. Well, I don't want to tell them I drew a Steam Vents. No, I know that four dogs, but the problem is they know about it. Once you preemptively do it, then that is public information and they can play around it. Like if they were going to go for a small living end and now you have a fury, now they just wait a turn and they just go for a bigger living end and that your fury is not going to be able to overcome. I don't want to fetch for a basic here. Yeah, I'm going to get a basic. I don't think I want to cast Blood Moon. Like, the problem with holding up Veto is I just lose the Grief. I definitely can't place a Healy. My options are Blood Moon or hold up Veto. I think I kind of have to hold up Veto. Just hope they don't have a second Grief. Feels bad, but I kind of think I have to. And the problem with playing Vito, or the problem with playing Blood Moon is I don't have a basic island. So, like, if I play Blood Moon and they just go Forest, Untap, Outburst, I lose. So that's also another reason to not play Blood Moon here. Just lose the basic Forest plus Outburst. Wow, they know about the Blood Moon and they're not getting a basic. Crazy. Okay. Well, hopefully I draw... If I find a way to get a basic land, like a, a blue fetch next turn, I'm just going to go Blood Move the Veto up, and that's probably good enough. Oh, that's pretty good, too. Let's do that. Just let it resolve? Am I getting jabated? I'm just going to pass. I think I'm getting jabated. <clears throat> yeah, I lose the force in the blood moon too. I just lose to too many things. Yeah, I'm sure they have like a breaker or something. Or a force. Okay. That's really good. Now I'm going to cast Blood Moon. Alright, they're fetching. Probably get a Forest Island. Are they hardcasting Force? Mystical Dispute. So I lose... Oh my god, if they have Force in their hand... 
These decks don't play that many forces, though. I think I'm going to go for it. Yeah, I guess I should have let it go with the second moon. All right, you win. Ah, I'm living against kind of shit. Chalice Tef iteration. I just like really, really hate playing against living end. <laughs> Come on again, For real dude. I'm not gonna play Chalice yet, dude. Literally everybody's playing this deck. Oh my god. Can't we find the uh, the blue red Merc type players to punish these living end fools? All right, play chalice. Hope it's good enough. If this gets countered, I might try and uh, iteration for another chalice. <clears throat> it's a good hand, yeah, but okay. Yeah, I think if they've... Oh, they've been to Force. Okay, well, I have to cast this iteration now. Don't really have a choice. Chalice, please? Nope. Uh, Alright, your go. This hand can maybe beat a small living end, like I could just bounce the waker. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, they could also just not have... And they're down two forces, there's no way they have another one. Yeah. Alright, we win. Hmm, <laughs> <coughs> they could have Odawara, I guess, but... Prismatic Ending. I think I can afford to draw a card here. Because they can't Bone Crush me now. Yeah, I'm just going to go Sahili Plus, try and find Felidar. I guess I was supposed to scribe before drawing in case I, because I get one more look at Chalice, but... How does the fairy work with living in? They just can't cast it. They're not allowed to put it on the stack. So it just shuts off their cascade spells entirely. Is cat a valid creature? Yes, it is. Cat is a valid creature for Kahira. So you can Kahira with Felidar Guardian. Which is kind of pog. Alright. Uh, plus. Plus. Yeah, they have Forest Island. I don't really want that. Nope. Now we should win. Oh, we're not hard casting? I don't know what their out is if they're not hard casting. I mean, hard cast probably just loses to the fairy anyways, but. Your most hated card is the fairy. My hatred has increased today. Yeah, I mean, it's the fairy is kind of egregious, but at the same time, it also does kind of stop the right things in in terms of this matchup specifically. Like, you don't really see a lot of combo decks playing to fairy. I mean, I guess this is the one example, but this is more of like a combo control deck, you know. So there's not a ton of combo decks that play to fairy and, and utilize to fairy as a backup to their combo. It's like it's for the most part, it is good against the the right kinds of things. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely not broken. Does the fairy stop storm? No, because storm copies the spell. It doesn't cast the spell. The fairy specifically says you can't cast cards, but storm is not casting cards. It's copying them. 
so it's different. I'm gonna ult this Sahili. <clears throat> Ambitious to play this one out. I mean, we're not even trying. Well, I, just start casting your spells. It's a sad shardless agent. It's also a dead shardless agent. See ya. Oh, that was the that was the straw that broke the camel's back, killing the shardless agent. I see. I see. All right. Rest in peace, Vito. Luster storm dispute. Cut ending, cut fury. Yeah, I like that cyber plan a lot. That's a really clean cyber plan. <clears throat> Deferius is playing creativity in the Tameshi combo. Well, creativity is not a combo deck. Creativity is a control deck. They had outs. Hmm, not really. Like, they usually only play one Oda War main deck. Th this was a pre-board game, so. Like, I think at most they have, like, one Oda War, one Baseju tops, maybe two, but. Mm -hmm. Alright, Kahira. Kahira! I mean, Vito, Jealous, I gotta keep it. I have to keep this hand. I'm not saying this is a bad hand, but... We get to go Chalice, hold up Vito on two. It's pretty good. Yeah, they don't play, apparently they don't play Barb anymore. Alright, it's a good card. It's a good thing we have two good cards. Yeah, they replaced Bar they replaced Borrower with Turtle, which is awkward because Turtle can only bounce creatures. Turtle can't bounce Planeswalkers. So it's like, you know, it has more versatility because of the green half of Turtle, but it's also a little bit worse against, like, Teferi specifically. Yeah, sometimes they have a split. Alright, just gonna hold up Vita the whole game. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of awkward. If they play Shardless Agent, I actually have to counter it because they're going to take my veto with the uh, with the Grief. So either way, if they play a Cascade spell, I do have to counter it. Because if I don't, if I let it resolve, they just take the veto. Yeah, Odawar is sick for them. We're still not hard casting, huh? Okay. I'm just gonna get a planes in case I drop blood meat eventually. Not bad. Not bad. God, Vito is so sick against them. It just it beats all of their good cards, like force and dispute, all that stuff. Can I go shields down on the second Vito? I mean, if I play Sahili, they're just going to counter it. What if I just pick up Gahira? I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to chill. Yeah, I mean, they can eventually start hardcasting creatures, but... Oh. Maybe I should have played an untapped land so I could castle. I don't want to tap out, though. If I castle, they can outburst. Although, they're not getting that much of a living end here, so even if they outburst, they could go, like, cycle plus outburst, though. Which would be kind of awkward. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep chilling. I could play Sahili next turn with double veto up. That's pretty safe. Reef. Can't do anything about it. Good thing I have the second veto. 
They were probably not expecting me to have a second veto. I mean, they probably could have assumed it when I didn't play the Zaheeli with Vito backup. It's like pretty obvious that I drew a second counter spell. They just didn't. I, wow. Is their plan just creatures? I mean, it's got to be, right? Mm, okay. Well, that particular creature I don't care about, so. Now I can do this. Uh, do I want Dispute? If three cards. It does counter a, a fatty. No, I'm gonna ship it. Maybe shipping that's bad. Because I could just counter a fatty. It's gonna pass. I think I'd rather castle than pick up Kahira, although if I castle I can't hold up Vito that way. Hmm. So the question is, do I play around Outburst? I probably do. I'm just not going to activate Castle. Which means I probably should have picked up Gahira. That was a good draw. That was an exceptional draw. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I can go... Tef in hand. Tef exile. And then this is good if they counter... Well, they would need to have two counter spells in hand. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll just bounce. Uh, your turn. Alright, now we should be good. 21 has no flow. What do you mean? It's got all the flow. Also, nice ephemerates, by the way. We'll eventually find something to do with ephemerate, right? You're gonna cast a 2 2. Not a 2 2. God, their hand, their their draw was not good. Like, their draw was horrendous. Plus. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I can go Kahira, cast, hold up Vito. Oh, nope, because I tapped horribly. <laughs> nope, because I tapped like a moron. Uh, awkward. Well, I guess I'm going to play this other Teferi. Yeah, that was uh, not great. Oh, I'm not going to play the Blood Moon into the stupid thing. <clears throat> Not the Mystical Archive of Femrate. Did I did we have we have this conversation earlier, Bolt Snap Bolt? We literally had this conversation earlier. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, we can eventually discard these to hand size. That's pretty much all they're there, all they're good for. Okay. That uh that resolves. We're gonna play. Are we gonna play two three mana two twos? Jesus, two copies of three mana two two. That's gonna be tough to beat. I mean, no, like legitimately, it might be tough to beat. Kind of, I'm kind of on empty here. I can't play this because we know about the stupid Foundation Breaker. Alright, Teferi dies. <clears throat> Invocations are awful. Yeah, but when you're playing a card like Blood Moon, you just want to troll people. Like, Blood Moon is the ultimate troll card. Uh, resolves. Would you like to destroy your own Shardless Agent? It's funny, I actually don't want to play Blood Moon because I need this castle to find some relevant cards. So I'm going to fetch first. 
two, three, four. Uh, hey, Felidar Guardian blocks. It's a good blocker. <laughs> this is hilarious. Uh, I guess I'll blink a land. Go. <laughs> two, five. How do you beat it? Dude, what a game. This is such a weird game. How do you ever beat a 2-5? Mm, maybe I should have cast the Blood Moon to shut them off double blue for that card. Might have been relevant. I mean, we'll eventually draw Saheeli, right? Oh, I didn't scry. That eh, didn't matter. Did not matter. Should have scryed, but... Alright, three and one chat, let's go. Playing against Fran. What's Fran up to these days? Uh the sand seems fine. Fine ish. We get some exclamation point Fran's in the chat. Hmm. Alright, play that. You can go. You may proceed. Too many alt arts. That's the advantages of having the god account, or I guess maybe disadvantages. Mm hmm. Go. We should have played an untap land there to represent counterspell. Knight of the Reliquary? Fran, what year is it? Fran, what year is it? Uh, I kind of want to just go Fury, Pitch Fury, and then play Saheeli. I want to do it. I know I don't know if this is the right play, but it's the... It's the high upside play. You can't get mad at me for making the high upside play. Bottom. Nah, there's no problem with Saheeli, unfortunately. I wish there was. I guess this is just going to get ending. This is probably a bad play. I probably should have just ending and saved the Furies. Hey, I just wanted to get greedy, okay? I kind of want to draw Carpet to Fairy. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Because I could just blink my Teferi next turn. Yeah, why is there no promo version of Saheeli? It's kind of crazy, right? It's like, there's not that many Planeswalkers that don't have a promotional version of it. What exactly is Abzan Lands? Well, it involves Night of the Reliquary. Well, now I kind of have nothing. Kind of just have nothing. Oh, the Wither Bloom command. Get back Takanuma. They can Takanuma the Knight, which we have ending for, so I don't really care. I'll get Island in case I drop Blood Moon. Ooh, that's pretty good, too. Uh, I think I'd rather Castle than Gahira, so let's just play Castle. And they're going to get back Knight. And then we can just Ending Knight. Yeah, that's fine. Man, Knight's kind of rough with uh, Prismatic Ending around, huh? Are they just not going to cast the Knight? Wait, what? Kek, wait. Uh, I guess I'll top that. <clears throat> I'm just not going to play any spells. I mean, I guess he assumed that I had an answer for the knight, but... So I guess he wants to put this... Oh. Oh, that's bad. 
Uh, fuck. I did not think that card was in his deck. Uh, okay. That resolves. Interesting. Sure. I mean, I think it'll be fine, right? He's gonna put a to he's gonna put a counter here. I'll just take three. Play the knight. I'll go end step, solitude the sam I'll solitude the knight, untap. Yeah. This is fine, I'll just take three. I believe it's next Wednesday, yeah. Another Witherbloom command. Sure. The Titania. He's going to go for that, or... So we know he has Titania, Knight, and then one unknown card. So he's going for Knight. That's fine. So I'm going to go end of turn, get a basic... Hmm. I guess the Titania is going to be hard to answer, huh? Oh, I can fill it or the, the Solitude. So let's go cast Solitude. Kill the Knight. That's fine. Ephemerate would be insane here. Okay. That's not the worst. Alright, so how is... What's the best way for me to go about answering this? I mean, I guess it's probably still just to ferry. Bounce the token. Yeah, and then I can just Felidar Blink the Solitude next turn. Yeah, this should be fine. I'm going to play this so I can potentially castle end of turn, because I think I am going to castle end of turn. Because he's going to play Titania, make a 5-3, and then I can just go ending the 5-3, Felidar, blink the Solitude, kill the Titania. I guess he's going to get a third 5-3, but that'll be fine. <clears throat> Wait, he's not going for... He's not go. Oh, he didn't get back Titania last turn. What did he get back? I don't... I thought he got back ti uh, Titania. Oh, he didn't activate it. Right, okay, 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 okay. He didn't activate it last turn. Okay. So right now he still has Titania and one unknown, I believe. Right, 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 right. Okay. Alright, well, we win. Easy clap. Easy clap, chat. Two free for the bean. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> yeah, Witherbloom got, got Takanuma. For some reason, I thought he cast, or he activated Takanuma that turn to get back the Titania, and they just didn't play the Titania. But he, he instead, of activate, instead of activating Takanuma, he played Knight that turn, so. Alright, so what do we want against Abzan Lands? Seems like a rest in peace matchup against Knight and Takanuma. Probably Esper Claimer too. Counterspells seem bad. Vito. I mean, his deck is like mostly creature based, I think. I don't want Vito. Um, I kind of assume he's a Saga deck. I think I want these. I don't really know how much instant speed interaction he has, so I kind of want to cut to. Fa no, Chalice is worse. Yeah, Chalice is bad. So we'll cut Chalice and then I'll trim A to Fairy, I think. Seems like pretty clean sideboarding. Yeah, I think Wear Tear is good because I just assume he has to be a Saga deck, right? Uh, yeah, Sand's fine. It's got a Blood Moon. <clears throat> How do you feel? Is this deck competitive amongst all the top decks, or just a meme that runs decently now? I don't. It's felt pretty good so far. I mean, we lost a Living End, but I also kind of punted, so. I don't think the matchup is terrible. <sighs> Given that I have the Blood Moon, I kind of want to just kill this thing now. It's like, kind of a disaster if he just... Um, kind of a disaster if he just like curves Knight before I play Blood Moon, but... 
I think given my hand, I think it's correct to do that. I guess that can also get a basic. It's funny, we haven't shown him Blood Moon yet, so he might not think we have it. Oh, well. Now he knows. Seems like he knows now. He is aware. Only three ephemerate. Yeah, because you're playing Chalice, and you do want a Chalice on one sometimes. I play against any Merc Dead Ragavan? No, I have not. Did not play against Merc Dead Ragavan. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's a lot of basics. Your move, Fran. Ah, the Wandering Emperor, man. Wait, he didn't activate it. Kek, wait. Kek, wait. Why he no activate? This card kind of dumpsters me, huh? I have to kill this thing. And I probably also have to play the Kahira this turn. And then if I draw a removal spell for Samurai, I can just kill the Emperor. About to see why you don't board him wear tear. I mean, I don't know. I thought he had Saga. Like, do you really think that Chalice is better than wear tear? Chalice is also ass against him. They're both terrible. Uh, that doesn't quite kill his thing. Do I force the trade? I don't know. Forcing the trade is bad if I draw a removal spell next turn, because I can just let him put a counter on. It, yeah, no, playing the Felidar is good because it makes him put a counter on this, because he can't just go make a 2-2, because I can just block... Oh, I can block with a 2-5 anyways. Yeah, yeah, this is way better. I'm just not going to attack. Don't play Cat. No, I think playing Cat's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I think this is good. This is good. Like trading and setting up for combo. Yeah, but the 2-5 just blinks the Samurai anyways. Like, I think this is fine. Like, now he has no attacks. Okay, that's kind of correct. Oh, is he going to double block? He might double block here. Oh, no. He's just going to... Okay, I guess I just go here and then kill the 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just go here and kill the 3-3. Three, three. What am I saying? Yeah, I'm stupid. I mean, I know he can trade for the Gehira now, but this thing still dies. That's all that matters. I don't even need to combo him. Sure, that's fine. What's his last card? Is it a good one? Alright, well, now the game's probably over. I guess you can have another Wandering Emperor. I might get him out of this. Probably not. Shocked? Oh, Takanuma? Okay, that get that gets back Emperor. And need to get back Emperor. Okay. This is still kind of fine. I think I'm just going to cast the Solitude end of turn. No, that's dumb. Never mind. I'm just going to do this. Um, Pop the Teferi, I think? No, I'm just going to bottom it. I just want to find Sahili. I mean, the Teferi's not bad, because it makes him play the Emperor in response. Okay, well, nothing matters. I kind of want to... kind of don't want to attack with Fury. Or, oops, the Felidar Guardian, because he's just going to minus. I don't want him minusing on the Fury. 
Okay, that's fine. Your turn. Take Emperor? Yeah. A Blood Moon, huh? I don't think I'm going to cast that. All right, so you take seven. Your turn. Knight of the Reliquary. 8-8, eight, eight, by the way. 8-8's eight, kind of big. 8-8 eight, eight do be kind of thick. It's a lot of life. <laughs> he did gain a lot of life there. Alright, I guess I'll play Blood Moon. <laughs> Your turn. Don't exile it? Why not? Why not? Why not? Por que no los dos? Alright, we got a nice little 4-1 with Jeskai Sahili. I think maybe could have been a 5-0 if I'd played a little bit better in that living-in match. If you're watching on YouTube, smash that like and subscribe button. See you in the next one.